Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to this series of Tatler Talks, your grand Christmas guide brought to us by Tatler Philippines and Federal Land. I'm Anne Gauthier, your host. Now the holidays are upon us. Before things get hectic, we bring you a special episode of Tatler Talks to guide you in making a grand Christmas celebration for your nearest and dearest. In partnership with Featherland, we are delighted to share this afternoon some useful tips and tricks for getting your home Christmas ready, as well as sumptuous dishes that you can easily prepare from Grand Hyatt Manila. Now, today we will talk Yuletide preparations with two ladies who are extremely passionate about food. We have with us Mesa ni Mrs. founder Juana Manahan Yupanco. Hi, Juana. Hi, nice to see you. And Tatler Homes Philippines editor, Stephanie Zubiri. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Anne. Hi. Hi, so nice to see you. I'm looking forward to our chat later. I'll see you in a bit. I am. I have all these yummy goodies ready for us. I can see you're very well prepared. See you. All right. We are also thrilled to announce that there will be an exciting raffle later on where there will be three winners based on the best answer to this question. How are you going to make your Christmas grand? And the prizes are staycations at Grand Hyatt Manila. Two winners can win an overnight stay in a Grand King room with breakfast for two. And one winner will get an overnight stay in a grand suite with breakfast for two. So please do not miss out on this chance. Send in your best answers to the question, how are you going to make your Christmas grand to get a chance to win these amazing prizes? Please write your answers in the comments section and we will announce the three lucky winners at the end of the Facebook Live. Now, before we have that chat with Juana and Stephanie that I'm sure you're all excited for, let's get to know more about federal land. So for 49 years, federal land continues to create innovative and well-built property developments such as residential homes, commercial and retail spaces, modern office buildings, world-class hotels, and integrated communities. To know more about the developer of Grand Hyatt Manila and the first Grand Hyatt branded residences in Southeast Asia, let's watch this. Every great vision begins with a blue sky and the imagination to see endless possibilities. An open mind, a keen eye, an understanding of how today lays the groundwork for tomorrow and the boldness to give form and structure to that vision. This is how federal land was built. A natural progression from its leader's passion for architecture. Federal land was founded on a commitment to build homes and business centers that spark dynamic urban communities. The homes we build are havens for you to grow families and friendships. The communities we create are dynamic spaces for you to expand your horizons. The landscapes we shape are fertile grounds for you to cultivate your dreams. We are reshaping the skyline. One structure at a time. Imagining and building the future. With you. Wow, there you have it. Federal land. Federal Land is the developer of Grand Hyatt Manila, which is, by the way, the ultimate Christmas destination this holiday season. 
Now, a little bit about Grand Hyatt Manila. Grand Hyatt Manila shares tips and tricks to celebrating the holidays in style as it welcomes the Christmas season with a wide array of surprises, stays, feasts, and treats to delight one and all. Now, for many of us who are still not keen on traveling, Grand Hyatt Manila is your go-to for a grand and safe holiday staycation. Have a worry-free and relaxing vacation without venturing too far from home. Here's an awesome tip for you all. Book and stay within December 15 to January 15, 2022 for a two-night holiday stay in the hotel and get your third night for free. The best part is you and your companion get to indulge in an exclusive, inclusive complimentary breakfast and get access to the many amazing amenities and services of the hotel. And for those of you who want to go out and celebrate the holidays outside the comforts of your own home, Grand Hyatt Manila also offers a holiday feast with their world-class restaurants that you can dine in for Christmas Eve dinner, Noche Buena, lunch on Christmas Day, and for New Year's Eve dinner. We will hear more about this later on. And Grand Hyatt Manila is also your go-to for Christmas gifts with their festive gifts and treats. Gift your loved ones with the hotel's handcrafted holiday hampers. Now, we invite all of you to tune in to Grand Hyatt Manila's executive chef, Mark Hagen, who will show us how to make the perfect turkey. Certainly useful advice for the festive season. Everyone, please watch this. Hello, Tableau viewers. Uh, my name is Mark Hagen, executive chef at the Grand Hyatt in Manila. And today I'm going to show you how we are preparing our Christmas turkey for the festive season. Also, you might be able to link this and uh, order it for Thanksgiving, which is just around the corner. And what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of oil into my pot. Okay. And then I have my onion. It's about one and a half onions, which are just diced up really, really roughly. Doesn't have to be fine. I have my carrots, pop them in there, let them sizzle away for a few minutes. I have my thyme, okay, beautiful and fragrant. I'm gonna drop in some stalks, pop in my chestnuts. I have about 400 grams to 500 grams of chestnuts there. And all I'm gonna do is just keep cooking this all down so all the flavors are amalgamating together. Next, the butter. So I have roughly here about 500 grams of unsalted butter. It's kind of a really wet stuffing. And the reason we want it wet is because turkey is a really dry bird. Okay, and the more you can add moisture into all of this, the better. So come close, have a look into the pot. As you can see, everything is bubbling away inside. Next, I'm gonna take the sage. The smell is amazing. Straight away, it hits your nose, and then it goes in with all this age. And we keep cooking this cranberry sauce or cranberry jelly, if you can't find cranberry sauce, and three tablespoons of cranberry sauce. So here my bread. I've got around about 400 grams of bread. I'm going to pop it all in here. Okay, come in close. The bread is soaking up all of the butter and all of the juices which have come from the vegetables. You can see all of the chestnuts. It's taken on a ruby red color. At the end, just some fresh spring onions. In it goes. Okay, I'm gonna just continue cooking this. I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. And then a good sprinkle of sea salt. In we go. There is a beautiful chestnut, sage, and bread stuffing for your turkey. Okay, so the stuffing has been made. I've just rested it in the fridge because later on we're gonna put it into the cavity right in here. The next thing, I have some softened butter. Remember, I didn't put all the butter into the, into the stuffing. I'm just gonna lift up the back of the bird here, the skin, and very carefully. You need to get your hand up inside and just, just use your hand and come up the back of the bird and just gently pull the skin away. Try not to rip the skin, okay? You want to keep this intact. We put the butter in here 
with your hand. Make it the day before. Everything can be made two days in advance at home and pop it in your fridge. As I said, you're going to cook this for three hours at gas mark four, which is 180 degrees centigrade for three hours. Or if it's a little bit less, just take a knife, put it into this deep part of the leg. And if the juices run clear and clean, then you know your bird is cooked. And as I said, give it 30 minutes to rest before you serve it on the table. Okay, so back to the stuffing. I've just had it in the fridge to cool it down. If you don't, just leave it on the side for about 30 minutes and, and let everything cool down. I've tasted it, seasoning, it looks great. It's still nice, nice and moist. And all we want to do now is take your hand. This is really the fun part. You want to get a good handful of this stuffing and you want to pop it in there, okay? Once it gets to this point, you can see it won't take any more. Okay, you're ready, that's it. All I do now is I take my two legs, I bring them together, and I'm gonna tie them with a piece of string to keep the whole bird together, okay? That's basically how you prepare a beautiful Christmas dinner or Thanksgiving dinner for your family at home with a simple chestnut sage and bread stuffing, your roast turkey. So like any well-prepared chef, here's one I prepared earlier. And as you can see, we have many choices uh, on offer on our Dine at Home website at granheimmanila.com or you can come to the hotel where our restaurants will be serving feasts throughout the Christmas season and the new year. From everyone at Granheim Manila, I wish you a merry, merry Christmas and a prosperous new year. Uh, hope you stay safe and well. Looking forward to seeing you at the hotel very soon. Thank you so much, Executive Chef Mark Hagen and Grand Hyatt Manila. That looked so delicious. And to our viewers, why don't you try that at home? It will definitely be a great centerpiece for your holiday gatherings. Okay, so now from meal prep to setting the table, we have the gorgeous Juana Manahan Yupanko as she shows us the ease of creating festive holiday table settings from her own home. Hi, Juana. Hi, Ed. So nice to see you. So nice to see you. Wow, this looks already incredible. This is your table setting, right? Yes, it is. You know, here at our home, we love Christmas. So it's been a tradition since my son, who you coached when he was um, auditioning as oh a little gosh, boy. Do you remember? So when right. he was born, um, he's born in October and I wanted my baby to have, you know, the experience of bright lights and Christmas. So yes. we set up our tree on October 18 every year. It's a day after his birthday. So it's been Christmas up in here for a long, long time. <laughs> we love Christmas. It's my favorite. We skip Halloween and go straight to Christmas. So I have been ready for this since October 18. Starting Christmas early. That's just always a great <laughs> idea. It is. Just skip right to the fun. So if I could tell you a bit about the table setting, my theme for this was mixing old and new. So Christmas mm -hmm. is very special to my family, very sentimental. So uh, the first gift my dad gave me was Austrian crystal um, ornaments, which I hung on my tree. So my very first Christmas Beautiful. as a married person, I had my Austrian crystal and my landmark balls all mixed together. Um, it's been almost 13 years now. So some of the things have started to break or crack, but I always, I, I can't bear to throw it away. So I always make it a point to mix the old things with the new things. So I'm gonna point you here. These are some of the ornaments that broke. There's no more string or the glass is not perfect anymore. And these are- the ornaments um, little... right from the tree, is that right? Or is it yes. any kind of ornament you can use? These are these ones happen to be from the tree, but I have others here. Like here, I have branches that used to go in an arrangement, but some of them are cut or the crystals aren't perfect anymore. Um, and I've stuffed them into my centerpiece. These little goblets are my grandmother's silver goblets. I added them here for height and I turned them into stands for the broken ornaments. They're not broken, so broken, but they're not perfect ornaments anymore. Um, I have some other things here that were Sorry, hung on the tree. Did you glue that together? Did you glue it together? 
No, it's just sitting there. Oh. I just pop it on. And okay. They all, and they all go back. Um, we have things that fell from the tree that, you know, like here, our chubby ballerina, her, her toe is broken in the back. So we hide it in the arrangement here. <laughs> Um, it's so we have smart, our- but it still yeah. looks so beautiful. Like I, I see the whole setting and it just looks so beautiful. You wouldn't think that the pieces are broken. Yeah, well, that's what I love about Christmas. You know, they always say, um, when I was a kid, I used to put on all these accessories and my mom would say, you know, you're looking like a Christmas tree, but because of all these different things that are hanging mm-hmm. on you. But here at, at Christmas, you can get away with it. I mix a lot of silver and gold, old things, new things. These, again old goblets of my Lala, which we don't really take out unless it's um, for Christmas because alone, like on a normal day, they might look a little bit dated, maybe even a little bit tacky, but on the Christmas table, it just brings that holiday vibe together and everything is shiny and sparkly. Um, Yeah, and and happy on the table. So very easy to hide things, imperfections with a lot of glitter and a lot of sparkle. I love that. And you can really also just save, right? Are, are there other tips and tricks on the best ways to recycle Christmas decors or ornaments? I mean, because where would I put them afterwards, let's say? Yeah. So like now, and it was too big to show you guys, but I have a very big vase where I put all the balls in that are not um, perfect oh, anymore. Perfect. And all together, they look like a very big arrangement so that's one thing you can do you can stuff them into other things or hide them in your greenery and foliage another uh, tip that i have so spending on christmas flowers can be really pricey especially if you're buying imported things that um, Mm -hmm. fly in um, from the netherlands or all these beautiful places that have fresh pine so i actually order mine again in october when the price is a little bit cheaper if you start ordering, yeah, because if you order November, December, the price goes higher and higher. And the great thing mm-hmm. about these things, they're dried. So these were fresh back in October, and now they're dry, and they still look great. They smell great. This is um, French lavender that they added. It still looks fine now. It's It just goes with the whole Christmas theme. And I've added, just so that it's not so obvious that the leaves are a little bit faded or a little bit dry. I've added extra garland, which is fake. It's fake garland to surround it. So there are ways that you don't have to spend on brand new arrangements all the way. Because for us, October, November, December, I don't take my treats down till January. So it's four months for me that I'm celebrating Christmas. So yeah. Um, mixing old and new is a really great way to save, but also a lot of the nostalgia. So we remember, you know, our parents, grandparents throughout Christmas. It's a really nice time to reflect on that. And I tell my kids stories about that as well. So it all comes together very, very nicely, just in time for the right season. That's so wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing those really useful tips with us. Um, it just and you have a final one that you would say is the the one that you live by? I think for me, it's mix your silver and gold. So before, there's a lot of like strict rules about, you know, mm. silver with silver, gold with gold. I love to mix silver and gold. So I have gold cutlery, but my plates are lined with silver. The table settings are silver. The the glasses are gold. So I love to mix both. And I don't stick to just one thing. So yeah, just be, Christmas is a time to experiment and to mix all these things. Yeah, be creative. Thank you so much, Juana. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you for those tips on how to set our holiday tables and how you don't have to spend more to make it festive. Super practical and fun tips. Thank you. Now let's move on to another gorgeous lady, Stephanie Zubiri. Stephanie will give us ideas on how to turn our regular roast fare and how to make it your own using Grand Hyatt Manila's food items from their delicatessen. Hi, Steph. Hi. Hi, Anne. Okay, so I I promise you, I did not chow on all of this by myself. (laughs) This is a feast for an army. And that's exactly what 
we Filipinos love for the holidays. You want to have our whole family around us. So it's very exciting. Um, uh, yeah, so I, I, I am here with some of um, Grand Hyatt's like really special uh, treats. So there's, of course, their roast pork belly, really crispy. I, I have to say I had a hard time keeping myself from like picking a little bit before um, <laughs> this Zoom. I had a little bit here on the backside. I said it's very crunchy. And then they have their roast Mulwara beef. Um, they say it's good for four, but honestly, this is really good for eight. So I'll slice a bit later to show you how beautifully cooked this is. And then they have their roast chicken um, Florentine as well. And what is really amazing about these um, offerings from Grand Hyatt is that they all come with their sides. So the roast pork belly comes with the sauce and with rice, with like nice garlic rice. And then the roast beef comes with the beans and then some potato gratin. I love potato gratin. And mm. the roast chicken comes with some roast potatoes. Now, I will give you guys some ideas on how to really make this something special. And so if you're you don't want to think it's just great, you just put it on your table, and it looks perfect, like transfer it from the boxes into a silver platter, lay it out on your buffet. Um, to be quite honest, I think I will be ordering some of these for my own uh, Christmas with my family and, and New Year's Eve because it's so easy, right? I don't have to think. But my rule for the holidays is always have something that's your own. These people are going to your home to be in your home and not just, you know, I mean, anyone can order from a restaurant or food order. This is super special, but it's always nice to have something that makes it your own, right? Makes it special. So yes. um, what I love to do, I'm a big fan of world cuisine. So I really love, of course, all of these are very European flavors, but I really, really love sort of Asian food, Mexican food. And, you know, California is such a great vector of this sort of like Asian, Mexican, Latin melting pot of flavors. So what I would make with this is I would set up all these beautiful roasts with all the sides that you could have. But on the side, I would do a little taco bar. So like these are just some flour, uh, corn tortillas. You can get flour tortillas and set it up there. And then add small things like I have some like kimchi here. You can set up like different sauces on the side. So some of these are like the sauces that have come with the roasts. But I personally would make up like, let's say, my own Asian inspired chimichurri to put on the side Ew, or maybe like a sriracha funny. mayo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a sriracha that's mayo, um, a nice hoisin dressing is very easy. So like hoisin sauce, a little fresh orange juice, a little bit of sriracha sesame oil and um, some lemon that you just mix it all together. And then you have this really lovely hoisin dressing and put a bunch of fresh herbs in the bowl, you know, like. Thai basil, um, some cilantro, some, you know, watercress. I love watercress, pickled radishes. So just make like a bar full of little bowls of toppings, of sauces, and then have your guests decide if you want to do like a little taco with all these toppings or eat it as like a main course. And all of these roasts lend itself really well to that. And it's a great idea actually for leftovers. So maybe you've ordered too much because you couldn't help yourself because it's so delicious and you might have leftovers. Well, doing that, like chopping up this roast pork, let's say you only ate half of it, chopping up, heating it up in the oven, that makes like amazing little tacos, um, you know, like roast pork tacos with the crispy That's skin on top tip. and like, yeah, yeah, super. So it, it's uh, it's something that I love to do. I like my food interactive. So I want my guests to like sort of make their own food and, and make it their own. Mm -hmm. So the, yeah, that's tips. my tip. With that, with the watercress that you mentioned, I was curious, did it come already sliced? Um or did you have to slice it up yourself? Did you present it and make it your own way as well? No, these are exactly how like the food comes. So I actually put watercress wow. myself. I had this to so just dress it up. So basically the roast pork comes perfectly cooked. It's, it's really crispy. I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah, it's like it's 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 crispy. There's a little hole here in the I back because that. I took a bite, a and mess. I will I will take a bite. I will take a bite so that everyone can hear just how like crispy this is, right? Like, 
Amazing. I, I was like, wow, it came perfectly cooked. <laughs> it came perfectly cooked. So like, um, it doesn't need anything. It doesn't need any accoutrement. I just put some greens here. This is just some watercress I had lying around to make it look special. And it comes with this wonderful garlic rice with spring onions and the sauce. Um, but this roast beef, so let me slice this open for you guys. So this is really nice because you can actually turn this into sandwiches the next day. So this is the roast Mulwara beef, right? I mean, mm -hmm. who doesn't love a good roast beef? Look at that. Look how perfectly cooked that is. So I'm going to slice that open. That looks Sorry, so this delicious. Is sort of rolling around here. But Definitely if you look at how pink... Beef. It's still pink inside. Look at that. That's exactly wow. the kind of like beautiful pink color you want. And they say this is good for four, to be honest. This is a generous serving. You'll have enough for leftovers the next day. And this would make amazing like hangover cure Reuben sandwiches. So you just have some nice sourdough from their deli. They have, they, it comes with like a horseradish sauce, which is amazing. So you just slice these sandwiches. You do the horseradish sauce, some caramelized onions, a little bit of maybe like coleslaw if you have, or, you know, just some cabbage. Amazing. Then, then toast it together, maybe some cheese. Oh my God. If you really want like hangover deliciousness. So you do like a little grilled cheese, roast beef sandwich with horseradish sauce. That's it. That's to end all the hangers. <laughs> hey, okay, your you're belly making me way too hungry. All the yummy making... food. <laughs> and I actually yeah. love that so much about tacos because you can use it. It's not, it's never going to be wasted, right? You can use it for the next day. No. And then add tacos exactly. And Fantastic yeah. tip. Okay, and then also, you. here's another idea as well. So if you're not mm. really like big on um, tacos or like food, you know, like holding things with your food. I love to eat with my hands. Um, but a good, another thing is you could do noodle bowls as well. So you can give people like the options. You can do like different noodle bowls and then they can kind of put their toppings as well with a little kimchi or different rice bowls. And it makes it fun and interactive, right? And then actually having little bowls are easy to eat at a cocktail party. You have your bowl, you have your little chopstick. So it makes it all very easy. Um, another thing I wanted to highlight, Anne, is this beautiful Christmas hamper that they sent me. Now, yes, I we all that. love to give the gift yeah, yeah, of food and deliciousness for Christmas. And Looks the highest nice. is so well. First of all, I love how chic this picnic basket is. Like, it's so beautiful. I would definitely use it even after. I think it's going to remain here in my office once I've cleared out all this <laughs> delicious food inside. And just to give you an idea, so this hamper has all kinds of yummy things. They have their ground coffee, their signature ground coffee. And they have, um, this is a favorite in my house. So I've actually stopped drinking coffee and I've moved to like hot chocolate and cacao. So this is their like signature hot chocolate. So my kids and I would love to have this on Christmas morning. Amazing with maybe some like pastries or, or ensaymadas, my goodness. Um, it comes as well with some festive chocolate uh i want to hide this for my children if not it's not going to make it to christmas they will devour this chocolate santa claus immediately um <laughs> it also comes with their fruit cake and their signature florentine cookies as well as tea from the famous angelinas in paris we all know this we had we love going there for our hot chocolate um and what is christmas without christmas cookies so you know, they have a little tin of Christmas cookies and I wish I were a great baker. I am not. Um, and Christmas cookies are so notoriously hard to make with all the marzipan and cinnamon and ginger and all of that. So it's nice to be able to, you know, even just this alone, it's a beautiful gift. So um, I think, you know, there, there are hampers and then there are hampers. There are the hampers that people just re-gift and I'm pretty sure People will actually use and eat what is in here. There is no regifting with something like this. Um, also, I love vinegar, and it comes with a beautiful wine vinegar um, from Beaumary, right? Like really, really wonderful vinegar, um, which is great in the salad dressings and things. And okay, so I don't know. I'm sure you are familiar with it because you know you and I are like Frenchy French. Frenchies. Um, no, I love your French the accent, by the way. You're, you, you, the words are just like perfect. 
So this is a fiat de canard with foie gras. So um, a lot of people here love to gift like maybe the block de foie gras, like just a regular foie gras, what they yeah. call foie gras pâté, although that's like a sin to call it a pâté. But um, this, I love riette de canard because it's actually like flakes, slow cooked flakes of, of duck. Like, and it's, it's got this like really rich, wonderful flavor. And this would be great to start as an aperitif, right? So you, you just open the can, transfer it into like a small container, put it in your charcuterie board with all the, you know, lovely jambon and, and, and cheeses and all of that. And the little like cornichon, the small little pickles, and you've got already your like appetizer set out for you. So very simple. Um, and they've got this really lovely, so it's just like a fruit compote. So of course you can have this for breakfast, but this might be really nice if you're serving like a pan seared foie gras, you could serve it with this and maybe even take some of the fruit cake and toast it up. So instead of doing like a brioche with a seared foie gras, you could, you know, do that sort of sweet savory combination with the fruit cake. And of course a lovely bottle of wine because you know we're festive. So there's a lot of chocolate here, which I love. They're little truffles, um, you know, single origin chocolate. And you know, it comes with a bottle of Bordeaux. Um, what's this? Domaine Virginie Tunevin. So really, really lovely wine. And um, if I'm not mistaken, the Tunevin family is actually one of the families that um, run and operate uh they're connected i think with the with um some of the more grander wineries in bordeaux so look it's it's very well curated it's a no-brainer it's a gift that i'm very happy to receive today definitely will not be re-gifting this i will be consuming everything in this hamper and i'm i am very excited to dig into all this you know beautiful food um and it's definitely I, I wish i could invite everyone over that. this is a lot yeah well, uh, we'd be happy to come over. Why not? Yes. Thank you so, so much. So there, no, you're most welcome. So if you have any other questions, let me know. And and guys, I really encourage you. So they have this little booklet here. I really encourage you to check out all their different offerings because they have everything from like the turkey, which you might want to try doing it yourself. But if you're like me, I will rather leave it to the experts. So they have the turkey, they have the glazed ham, they have course the porchetta i mean it's they have pork terrine which is also something i really love salmon they even have um sushi and sashimi so if you want to do sort of like a more global christmas you can do the taco idea and then some sushi sushi and sashimi on the side right so they've got lots of thank, wonderful things thank so you just so check it out and check so out their offering that. yes yeah. and anyways You're um welcome. you'll be staying on later for the q a so We'll, we'll have yeah. you back, and I'm sure our viewers will have questions for you. Thank you for your okay. super helpful comments, and I'd love to get myself a Christmas hamper from Grand Hyatt Manila, too. Now, speaking of Grand Hyatt Manila, now we have with us the general manager, Mr. Gottfried Bogensperger, and once again, executive chef Mark Hagen. So if you have any questions, again, everyone, for our executives and Juan and Stephanie, please do send them in the comment section because we'll have a Q&A later on. All right, let us welcome. Good evening, gentlemen. Hello. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Hi. Hi, oh, are, so much for being so here. Hungry. We are so hungry after Stephanie's comments and after, exactly. oh my God, and Joanne and, and that decoration. It's wonderful to see. Thank you so much. It looks delicious. I'm absolutely starving just after watching that. Now, to begin, we would love to hear more about Grand Hyatt Manila Residences. I believe it's the first Grand Hyatt branded residences in Southeast Asia. Is that true? Uh, that is absolutely correct. You know, it's the first high Grand Hyatt residence is built here in Southeast Asia. And uh, the wonderful thing is that uh, uh, we have actually two towers. Tower one has been sold out already and tower two is on the way and uh, is open for sale already. And so we're wow. going to have a second tower, which was uh, tower one was very popular and very well received. So so we are on the way on tower two. And, and it's exciting as we have all uh, basically the hotel amenities and facilities uh, supporting those residences. So uh, it's going to be uh, a really a lifestyle concept and a lifestyle product. So uh, we I are very proud that. to bring that, that, that residences into Southeast Asia. 
it's so exciting. Could you tell us, um, Mr. Bogensberger, what are, what are some of the biggest advantages in living right next door to a hotel? Well, uh, when you see Chef Mark cooking, for example, and you saw him just before, uh, you can order him directly into your residences and mix the turkey for you. You uh, can. Mark, it takes. Uh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. It oh, may not be Chef Mark, but one of his assistants. Uh, but but all that work can be done for you in your own uh, private residences. You know, so so the, it, it's a wonderful uh, uh, experience uh, if you really don't want to be. Uh, too much bothered with cooking or preparation and everything else. You have the great opportunities to to be catered at home, and the chefs will support you, and the waiters will support you, and those services will become available in your residences. So uh, it's only a footstep away, as we say, and 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 you can have services like that. But uh, the residences are not just about food and beverage caterings and what we have, but we believe that Grand Hyatt residences are a lifestyle concept. Uh, in, in, in the terms where the hotel and the facilities of the hotel are supporting your lifestyle in your residences. And this can start from transportation where you need a, somebody to be dropped off or pick off, uh, picked up somewhere. We're having uh, limousine services available. Um, this means you need a spa service so you can have a spa service. Which I'm is sorry, this is also for residents residents yes yes you have on as we call it an a la carte menu available for you and you can choose and pick and it's available in the privacy of your home and it's directly uh, connected to the hotel and and those are really uh, lifestyle concepts uh, which 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 uh, i think uh, um caters towards the need of uh, needs of people and what they need in their life and to facilitate a ma more uh, grand living style and are there other services and amenities of the hotel that Grand Hyatt Manila residents can access to? Other I mean, than the, the, the Grand the Hyatt, uh, basically the, the residences have access to everything. You know, there's internal accesses to things, so which is which is great to have uh, uh, the, the outlets and facilities available at any given time, uh, catering, picking up your breakfast croissant when you need them. Uh, it's, it's only, uh, you can have really? them on demand, like you bake it yourself, yes. Uh, they can be picked up at Florin Dynamic any given moment, you know, if you need them fresh in the morning to your doorsteps, uh, it is available, you know, so, so it is not just, you know, that what wow. we can do for you in advance, but also what we, what we can do to make your lifestyle a little bit easier and more convenient. Uh, um, as we say in Granada, it's not, it's not just the product which we are selling you, it is a whole lifestyle and what is surrounding uh, this lifestyle, you know. And, and, so it's uh, like living uh, in Grand Hyatt Manila in the comforts of your own home every day. Absolutely. That's what you say. Everything you don't like to do, we do for you. That's incredible. I'm sold. I'm definitely sold. I want to move there already. Uh -huh. Now, can you also, Mr. GB, tell us more about the exciting and special holiday offerings one can only get at Grand Hyatt Manila this holiday season? Yeah, I, I think I think it is wonderful. Chef Mark will talk a little bit about the food later on. Uh, we are very excited. Thanks God. I mean, the, the, the pandemic is easing slightly and it's get a little bit easier uh, to reopen all our outlets and facilities within the property. So there is a whole uh, a spectrum of different products and outlets available uh, uh, to entertain you and your guests and your friends uh, during the holiday season. But we also have a uh, uh, interesting products. Um, Stephanie was talking about uh, uh, the delicious food and Joanne was talking about table decorations. Uh, we have, for example, also uh, uh, um, uh, a tiered, uh, uh, basically teamed up with a team which is called UB Life, which is a, 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 a urban uh, livelihood development program. Uh, which making special products for us. And I, actually, I was able to bring something here. Uh, look at this wonderful gift idea. This is a box where there are hand pure poured candles are inside. They are produced locally. Those is a company. They make it for us. Uh, we financing their 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 livelihoods with it, and they are making wow. wonderful gifts. If I can open that up, it comes in a box. Uh, it's covered by a little sleeve, and as you can see, there's a whole story inside. And the beautiful candles which are inside 
which you can that place next to the table where Stephanie was. So, so those they make just beautiful gifts also, and uh, they supporting local community and livelihoods in their projects. So those 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 type of products are available uh, during the Christmas season here, and every year we're taking on a special. It's not a charity, but it's more like how we support a local community by creating opportunities and livelihoods and 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 how we go you know uh, how we become a little bit more responsible citizen of what we do uh, uh, during the festive season especially thank you so much i mean i you can use those candles even for your own home and your dining area i just love how everything is so well thought out thank you very much mr gb okay Thank you. Okay, there will be, I'm sure, so many questions for you later on. But now, Chef Mark, I am sure there are many of us who miss this, the experience of dining out for the holidays. And it's exciting that we can do it this year. Can you tell us more about your Christmas and New Year's Eve offerings in your restaurants? Because we would love to hear about the special menus you have to offer, like from your Chinese restaurant to your special festive afternoon tea. Okay, so uh, I hope you like the cooking show, everybody. Uh, something simple you can make at home. Uh, but if you don't want, of course, we're always here to cater for you uh, um, for dine at home or in the hotel. So Chinese restaurant, uh, we built up a great following over the years. So we really kept our signature dishes at the front of everything. And we have our locally grown uh, picking duck, which uh, comes from a farm in Laguna. And it has an amazing story. And we really love to support the local community and the local farmers. So that picking duck will be front and center coming from our authentic duck oven um, at number eight China house. And then the, the, the local seafood, again, supporting the local fishermen uh, with the crabs and the lobsters. So we really want to give back to the community uh, as, in, in as many ways as possible. Then, if you just want to sit and relax, listen to some music in the afternoon, we have our uh, high tea and you can get your babinka and your, your, your special little Filipino treats and our, our coffee, which is also um, supporting local farmers up in uh, Benguet and Baguio. So we really have an offering for everybody throughout all of our restaurants. I absolutely love that, and especially supporting the local community. Everything is with a cause. Thank you, Chef Mark. Now, please stay on, Mr. GB2. Uh, and let's call back the two ladies, Juana Manahan Yupanko and Stephanie Zubiri, because let's now open the door to our viewers online. We're about to have a few questions from our viewers. Okay, so the first one is Jen Anz. Any favorite Christmas traditions? Juana, would you like to start? Um, I'd say ours is opening presents at my mom's house on the 24th. And then when I got married and I had my own kids, we do it really early, like 6 a.m. on the 25th. And Steph's idea for the hangover sandwiches and all of that, maybe for the leftovers, is a great idea because that's exactly what a mom and dad will be the day after Nacho Buena is a little bit hungover, no time to prepare. And as the kids are opening the gifts, I'll be gladly munching on the leftovers from the night before. That's wonderful. How about you, Steph? Um, well, you know, Christmas, definitely. I, I, you know, Christmas is a loud and noisy thing in our household. So just to give you an idea, I have my parents and then we're five siblings plus the significant others, plus all the children. So we're a total of like 25, 30. If there are straggling people from around the world, they're always welcome in the house. So we're a lot of people um, for the holidays. So it's always fun and crazy. And it's always been like that since I was a kid. So for me, Christmas is really about bountiful feasts like this. But because I have children, I'm like Juana as well. I really do like the Christmas mornings and I like to have my enzymata. I, you know, I'm always on the diet and it's so sad, but like, <laughs> I allow myself my Christmas enzymata in the morning with hot chocolate. And that's my, my personal little Christmas tradition with the kids and their pajamas and all their messy hair. That's one of my favorite things. Oh, that's so nice, lovely. And Mr. GB? Yeah, well, I have a very traditional, which I do every year, every year. On the 24th, I, I, 
I, I don't know if you know it, but we have a, 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 a a, a specific uh, drink we drink, which call is Glühwein, hot wine, basically, like Mool wine. Mm. Uh, on the 24th, I must have it. I, also, if I'm in the tropic or not, it, it warms my heart. And I have a, a, a cup of uh, Mool wine, which I make myself every time for Christmas. And it's something very special. So I keep that. And then munching on the Christmas tree. I'm setting up a Christmas tree every year, still as a tradition. And then we hang all this. As a childhood, we, uh, our parents were hanging little sweet treats onto the tree. And so munching from the tree is actually something very exciting. And picking those little chocolates and those little uh, uh, goodies off the tree is something very unique and special. And it, it brings back so many memories. So, so I keep on with that tradition, which is very funny and, uh, um, and joyful, too. That's so wonderful. And Mr. Chef Mark? Well, I'm... I need to cross both cultures because my wife is actually Filipino as well, and I'm from Ireland. So, um, unfortunately, most Christmases I'm working. <laughs> so I kind of celebrate a day or two before with, with the family, and I'm sure I take some time off before Christmas. Um, but then um, touch base with them early in the morning and then head off and put the turkey in the oven. But then I make sure in the evenings we go home and celebrate and I bring home a, a big feast for them and then call my parents in Ireland and uh, my brothers and siblings. And then we kind of get all around on the on, on the on, on, on a Zoom call or a Skype call and we all come together as a family. So uh, I have some siblings around the world as well. So it's kind of special with all the time zones um, and then yeah I can see the Christmas dinner going at home and obviously I love lechon so I think it's a great way to, uh, to celebrate Christmas in the Philippines as well so um, being very global and, and I love the old Christmas crackers on the table where you pull them and, 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 and you get the little game inside and, and, and it has a, a special gift so uh, I like all that nostalgic things what you're talking about setting up the table and taking out your grandmom's, uh, yeah. your, your, your mom's finest crockery and, and, and polishing off the silver. and It only comes out for a special occasion. So yep, it, exactly. time to celebrate and with the last two years being so difficult. And as GB mentioned, it's getting a little bit better. Hopefully it keeps going in that direction. I think it's time to really uh, kick on the party this year. Yeah, for That's sure. so wonderful. Thank you. Now, um, Chef Mark, maybe you can answer um, this particular question. How many days advance do you have to order the porsetta, the turkey? 48 hours in advance, two days notice. 48 hours in advance, okay. That's all. Wow. So we have already Thanksgiving coming up this Thursday. I think we've got about 20 orders of turkey already. Wow, oh, wow that's incredible. My 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 little shop Florentine on Sunday sent out about 45 orders around Manila. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Gottfried Bogensberger and Chef Mark Hagen from Grand Hyatt Manila. And because uh, that was our last question. And also thank you, Juana and Stephanie. Holidays will definitely be more special with Grand Hyatt Manila. We have learned so much from all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Anne. Thank you for having us. So it's a good pleasure. Thank you so much for being with us. Now, um, before we announce the winners of the raffle, to give us a special message, we have Federal Land President and COO, Mr. Tom Mirasol. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for taking the time to join us today. I would also like to thank Tatler Philippines for organizing this event. As we wrap up our little get together, allow me to share what I am most grateful for this year. It is the country's growing recovery from the pandemic. The continuous vaccination rollout and decline in active cases mean fewer restrictions, bringing our cities back to life. The streets are now as busy as they were before the pandemic. People are marching back to offices. And the malls are once again full of holiday shoppers. We see similar encouraging activities here at the Grand Hyatt Manila. Several of our restaurants are now fully operational. You can get best-loved Chinese specialties like Peking Duck at Number 8 China House, 
uh, and invite your friends for a barbecue at the pool house or an afternoon tea at the lounge. For the best views in the city, the peak at the hotel's topmost floor is open for steaks and grills. If you wish to spend the holidays at home, away from home, the Grand Hyatt Manila offers lavish staycation packages that allow you to welcome the Christmas and New Year in grand ways. Given the green shoots of recovery, we can now safely enjoy the holidays. For us Filipinos, Christmas is an annual tradition no pandemic can break. It's the time to gather family and friends to celebrate the season of joy and thanksgiving. And though hosting large parties and family reunions must be taken with caution, there are ways that we can celebrate Christmas at home grandly. Our guests, Juana Manahan Yupanko and Stephanie Zubiri, and Chef Mark Hagen and Gottfried, showed us their secrets to celebrating Christmas in impeccable style. Thank you, Juana, Stephanie, Chef Mark, and GB. I'm sure our viewers will elevate their decor and Noche Buena. But if you're looking for a lifetime of hotel-like living, we gladly welcome you to the Grand Hyatt Manila Residences. At Grand Hyatt Manila Residences, we take care of the details of your celebration. Our chefs can whip up holiday feasts, or you can order directly from one of the many restaurants at the hotel. Of course, let us not forget what truly completes the holidays. It's the warm presence of our loved ones at home. As the great American columnist Burton Hillis once said, the best of all gifts around any Christmas tree is the presence of a happy family all wrapped up in each other. So let me sincerely wish you and your families a very Merry Christmas. We look forward to celebrating the holidays with you at the Grand Hyatt Manila. And may the coming 2020 be a year of prosperity and harmony for you and yours. Thank you. What a beautiful message. Thank you so much, Mr. Tom Mirasol. Thank you very much. Now, I believe it's time to announce the three winners who best answered, how are you going to make your Christmas grand? The two winners of the overnight stay in a grand king room with breakfast for two are, are you ready? It's loading. Oh, suspense. We have... I got it right here. Okay, so we're not going to wait for the suspense. So the two winners are Inang Espiritu and Angelo Nahito. Congratulations, Inang Espiritu and Angelo Nahito. And next, the one winner of the overnight stay in a grand suite with breakfast for two is, is it going to pop on the screen? All right. There's a lot of suspense. So is the one winner of the overnight stay in a grand suite with breakfast for two is Ron Madrid. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations to our three winners. Our team will get in touch with you on how you can claim your prizes. Enjoy your stay at Grand Hyatt Manila. Okay, now, because we also got to know more about the Grand Hyatt residences, here's a look at this luxurious offering from Federal Land.
Ladies and gentlemen, that was Grand Hyatt Manila. And with that, we would like to thank all of you for joining us in this series of Tatler Talks, your Grand Christmas Guide, brought to us by Tatler Philippines and Federal Land. Once again, I'm Anne Gauthier, wishing you all a grand holiday season. Stay safe, everyone. <laughs>